its second season, Ted Lasso received Emmy nominations in 20 categories, including Outstanding Comedy Series, three Outstanding Supporting Actress nominations, and Jason Sudeikis received his second nom for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. We were there with some of the cast to celebrate. So one of the most <laughs> phenomenal things about the show is your friendship, well, Keely's friendship with Rebecca. Why do you think that friendship is so important and why do you think it works so well? Because Hannah is one of the greatest women in the world, on and off screen, so that's easy. <laughs> but also because the writers have been so brilliant in writing a female friendship that is genuinely a friendship. It's not competitive. It's not bitchy. It's not about, you know, judging each other or trying to step over each other. It's literally about loving each other, nurturing each other and guiding each other and helping each other see things about what them, you know, themselves that they didn't see before. And I think that is important because I think we need to keep putting out into the world positive female friendships because to me, they're the most important friendships that I have. So we need to keep doing that. The biggest highlight is just the responses, the love for this show. Like you can, I can't explain that support and that love. It's just, it's mind blowing and just everybody's so wonderful to work with. It, that is the truth. You want to say something, it is the truth. That's the absolute truth. Everybody's wonderful to work with. I love playing that part. And she's very challenging for me, different, in a different space. I just want to be liked and loved. And she was, she was like, she was so confident and sure of her job. It was great part and taught me a lot along the way. What has she taught you so far? She's just to be like confident about how good you are, <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, just be like completely fearless about that and that not be a problem, you know. For you, what has been something that you've learned along the way for you as a personal thing? Um, to not be too controlling, to let go, to, res you know, not resist, <laughs> be open to it and to play like more than ever before and trust. Trust in being yourself and that being good enough. Throughout the show, riding the waves between comedy and also some very serious moments. As an actor for you, how do you ride that wave? Even when you're doing the comedy, you've got to find the truth of it. That's where I've always approached comedy. Even though I've been determined to make something funny, I don't want it to be just, you know. Um, mugging or whatever, um, but I—that's I, I, that's, yeah, that's that's the way you've got to approach the whole thing. It's got to be—it's got to make sense for it to come over, whether it's a painful moment or a um, you know or a comic moment. I mean, the great thing about this show and the way that it's written is that really gets you in the heart. Is it during <laughs> during a painful moment? There'll be a killer comedy line and that's you know the, the writers are so skillful you know on this show that they're, they're so smart and funny you know they're amazing i usually do play and i i love playing really nice guys and sweet people so to get to play against that and to get to play a gun in as well was like a real dream more about that. Uh, so I, my, my family is Ghanaian. My mother's side of the family is from Ghana. And so uh, when Joe, Joe Kelly texted me, he's like, hey, we've got this Ghanaian billionaire that we want you to come and play. I was like, oh, exciting. Because I, I know that uh, Jason's always been excited like for me to do something as a Ghanaian, <laughs> you know? Uh, so to get to come and, and do it on like this sort of a scale and on a show like this and then to get to sort of play with these guys uh, and get, get a little London and see my family as well. Uh, and they get nominated for an Emmy for it. Where were you? I was on the set of After Party Season 2 uh, that we're filming right now. It was, it was a week ago now, or like a week and a half ago at this point. Um, yeah, so I was like, like, I got a text from my my uh, publicist, and I had my phone on. I don't usually have my phone on me on set, but I didn't want to not know, <laughs> you know, and then I... I got the text and it was very exciting. <laughs> Your song is just so freaking catchy. So I want to know for you, what is the most random place you've just thought of? Jamie Tart doo 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 doo. My girlfriend and I were traveling through Sri Lanka and we were on the side of this big mountain <laughs> and this this uh, this Russian dude came up to me and started singing and I was like, get it? Like, yeah. Yeah, it was very it was very beautiful. 
It was very beautiful. We kissed. We didn't kiss. We didn't kiss. We're used to seeing Danny really smiley, happy. And then the dog incident happens. What was that like for you to be able to like delve into that and just navigate that as an actor? I, I'm just happy they, they gave those moments for Danny. And, and, and well, to me as an actor, that was really cool and challenging and I love it. Uh, but I, I, I just feel that it made Danny feel more of a real human a real person because life cannot only be happiness we I mean life uh, sometimes throws you hard moments and whether you stay there or you get up stronger learn from it and move on and I think uh, in my life that happened with football and then I discovered acting and film and here we are playing football <laughs> and acting and it's a circle life Sometimes things happen for a reason, and, and that's also another lesson I get from this experience. Ted Lasso season one and two are currently streaming on Apple TV+.